Hi, I'm Simon Parrish. I'm going to give you a yoga class now for Jasnath Asan. I'm very happy to be participating in your yoga project. I just tell you a few words about myself. I learned yoga mostly in India. My primary yoga teacher is Sunil Kumar. He is in Varanasi. And I also spent a year in the Bihar School of Yoga in Munger, Bihar. So, yeah, without further ado, we will start with this class. It's going to be a gentle class, classic yoga, with elements of mindfulness. I'm also a mindfulness trainer, uh, according to MBSR, MBSR um, as founded by John Kabat-Zinn. So, um, yeah, just lie down on your back and relax in a comfortable position, lying down. In yoga we call this position Shavasana, that means corpse pose, I always say dead body pose. So in this position, lying down, make sure that the spine is in a straight line, head and neck in a line with the spine, arms slightly away from the body so that the armpits are free, palms of the hands facing upwards, eyes and mouth gently closed, the feet are falling outwards comfortably. Close your eyes, close your mouth. Relax completely. Relax the top of the head. Relax the facial muscles. Relax the jaw. Relax all of the head. Relax the neck region, relax the shoulders, the arms and the hands, relax all of the back, relax the chest area, relax the abdomen, Relax the pelvic region, the waistline. Relax the legs, the knees and the feet. Whole body, relaxing the whole body. Relax, relax, relax. Be aware of the sensations of the body, what you're feeling at this moment. Maybe there are comfortable sensations, maybe less comfortable ones, maybe some pain somewhere. Or maybe you notice that you're feeling something without being able to define it neither pleasant nor unpleasant. Or maybe you realize that you're not feeling very much at all. And then gradually bring your awareness to your breath. Be aware of your normal breathing process without interfering in any way, without changing anything. Awareness of the natural breathing. Maybe you're able to be aware of how you're breathing. 
Maybe the breathing is deep or shallow. Maybe you're breathing mainly abdominally or more with the chest. Maybe the breathing is even or irregular. Observing the natural breathing process. And then getting your breath under your conscious control. Start with abdominal breathing. Become aware of the navel. With each inhalation, the navel is rising. With each exhalation, the navel is sinking down again towards the ground. And then maybe you'd like to extend the breath for yogic breathing. For yogic breathing, as you inhale, first the navel is rising, then breathing up into the chest, so that the chest is rising. Then as you exhale, first the chest is sinking, then moving the awareness downwards through the body. Lastly, the abdomen is sinking down again towards the ground. As you inhale, moving the awareness upwards through the body. As you exhale, moving the awareness downwards through the body. Deeper, slower, inhalation and exhalation. Make sure that the breathing is smooth and even. And continue in this way to take three more deep breaths. And you should be still lying down. Then from here, bend the right knee. Join the hands together. Hold the shin next to the knee. And pull the leg towards the upper body. Feel the pressure of the thigh against the right side of the abdomen. And if you like, continue your conscious breathing. That means with each inhalation, you may feel a little more pressure. Maybe you can pull a little more. Good, and then relax, take the left hand, place the hand on the left thigh, 
With the right hand keep holding the shin, not too far down, near to the knee, holding, and now keep the leg really relaxed. No tightness in the leg, no tightness in the lower leg, completely relaxed, and using the arm make big circles with the leg. Circles as big as is comfortable for you. Keep the head relaxed. You don't need to raise the head. And then change the direction. Other way. And then relax the leg down to the ground. Be aware of the effects. What are the physical sensations? And then in your own time, bend the left knee. Join the hands together. Hold the shin near to the knee. And pull towards the upper body. Feel the pressure of the thigh against the left side of the abdomen. Maybe you can pull a little more strongly. And then relax, place the right hand onto the right thigh. With the left hand hold the shin near to the knee, not too far down, near to the knee. Keep the leg very loose, lower leg completely relaxed, foot completely relaxed. And using the arm, rotating the leg. So the arm is doing the work, the leg is not doing anything, the leg is completely relaxed. Circles as big as you can. And then change the direction. Keep the head relaxed. And then relax the leg down to the ground. Relax the arms. Feel the effects. Be aware of the sensations of the body. And then bend the knees, bring the feet near to the buttocks, so as near as you can, pull as near as you can, comfortably. Try to keep the legs parallel, don't let the knees come out. Relax the arms to the sides of the body. And then raise the arms, stretch the hands towards the knees, and at the same time raise the head. And then in your own time, relax the head and the arms down. And then raise the arms again, raising the head. And then relax the arms and head down. And if you like, you can breathe 
Inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. If that's enough for you, continue in this way. If you want to do more strongly, then relax the arms over the head to the ground. And then inhale, stretch the arms up, stretch towards the knees, and raise the shoulders also off the ground. And exhale, relax the arms and head down. Inhale, raise the arms, stretch towards the knees. Exhale, relax the arms and head down. Inhale, stretch up, stretch towards the knees. Exhale, relax the arms and head down. Continue in your own speed. If that's too much for you, stay on the simple version with the arms just coming to the side of the body. Do the practice as is comfortable. Inhale, reach. Exhale, relax the arms down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, relax the arms down. And then in your own time, exhale, relax the arms down. If the arms are over the head, bring them down to the side of the body. Relax for a few seconds, feeling the effects. Be aware of the sensations of the body. And then lift the feet off the floor, hold the shins, not joining the hands, hold the shin each shin with one hand, keep the knees together and pull the legs towards the upper body, feeling the stretch. And either stay there or if you like, you can raise the head, bringing the nose towards the knees. Maybe you can get the nose between the knees. Supta Palamuktasan, that means reclining, wind relieving position. And then slowly relax the head down to the ground, relax the arms down to the side. This time placing the hands flatly on the ground spreading the fingers and as you inhale stretch the right leg and hold for a second and as you exhale bend the knee again then stretch the left leg hold 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 and exhale bend the knee bend the right again inhale stretch hold keep the leg stretched and exhale Bend the knee. Then the left side. Inhale, hold, keep the leg stretched. And exhale, bend the knee. Continue. Inhale, stretching. Don't forget to hold. And then exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, stretching. Don't forget to hold. Exhale, bend the knee. Continue with awareness of what you're feeling, what are the sensations of the body as you are doing this exercise and don't forget to be aware of the breath. And first of all, both legs so that the knees are bent. 
and then push firmly against the floor and slowly try to stretch both legs. If you can't manage to stretch them completely, no problem. Do what you can. Stretching the heels, pull the feet towards the ground. Keep the arms active, Keep roll the shoulders down. A few more seconds. Maybe you can stretch a little more. Then exhale, relax. Now the, le now the legs are completely relaxed. Hold the shins again near to the knees and making big circles with both legs. And as you're circling the legs, you may be feeling a massaging effect on the lower back. Change the direction. And then slowly relax the feet to the ground, relax the legs, relax the arms, relax the head. Be aware of the sensations of your body. And then bend one of the knees, roll slowly to one side and come up into an upright seated position supporting the back spine is long neck is long hands behind pushing against the ground shoulders down lengthen the spine stretch out the legs keep breathing if you remember yogic breathing, if you can. Good, and then release the arms. Bend the right knee, pull the leg towards you, and at the same time, inhale, breathe in. You're deliberately breathing in to increase the pressure in the lungs. This is a really good practice to improve the lung capacity, to strengthen the lungs. We all need that at the moment with this corona pandemic. So breathe in, pull, pulling the leg towards the chest, lengthening the spine, and exhale, relax the leg down. Then the other side, bend the knee, breathe in, lengthen the spine, Full inhalation, feel the pressure and exhale, relax. And then the right leg again. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Continue at your own pace. Breathing in as you're pulling very firmly. Breathing out as you're relaxing the leg down.
present with your next exhalation. Relax the leg down. Support the spine again. Feet a little bit apart. Legs relaxed. Spine is long. Shoulders down. Feeling the effects of the practice. Then bring the forearms to the floor. So you're not lying down. The body is still off the ground, as you can see, like this. But the forearms are on the ground. The hands are flatly on the ground. And don't let the spine get rounded. The lower back should not be on the floor. Just the buttocks on the floor and the lower arms. The spine is long. The neck is long. Hands flatly to the ground. Keep the legs stretched and raise the right arm, leg, stretched. If you can't get so high, no problem, but try to keep the legs stretched. And hold for a second, and then relax the leg down. And then the left side, this time with the breath, inhale, raise. As far as is comfortable for you, hold for a second, and exhale, slowly down. And then right side again, inhale, raise. Exhale, slowly down. And then inhale, raise. Exhale, slowly down. Inhale, raise. Exhale, slowly down. Continue at your own pace. Always hold for a second. Even if you can only get the legs so much up, stretch, no problem. Hold for a second there and relax down. Other side, raise as is comfortable for you and exhale down. Be aware of your own limitations, respect your limitations. And then slowly relax the leg down and sit up again. Support the back. Feet are relaxed out. Feel the effects. Be aware of the sensations of the body. And then bend the knees and relax the knees down towards the ground. It doesn't matter if you can't get them so much down like that, it's fine. The main thing is that the spine is long. So you shouldn't be, the lower back shouldn't be round. You shouldn't be slouching down like that. You're keeping the spine long. Even if the knees are up, spine is long. You may even, if you wish, use a little bit of support behind the buttocks, a cushion or rolled up blanket just to support behind, to prevent the hips from rolling back, to keep the spine long, to keep the neck long. Holding the feet, shoulders are down, roll the shoulder blades slightly together, gentle rocking movements of the knees. Titiliasan, butterfly, breathing normally, normal breath. And if you like, you can close your eyes, eyes closed, mouth closed, breathing through the nose. Imagine that you're a butterfly. Flying over a beautiful meadow. 
green grass, flowers in the meadow. You're flying from flower to flower. Imagine your favourite flowers. How they are coloured. How they are scented. And then slowly open your eyes, bring the knees up and stretch out the legs. Bring the legs a little bit apart, supporting the back, keeping the spine long and roll the legs, rolling the legs. Good. Okay, then come on to your knees. Bring the toes forward. Knees are about shoulder width apart, not together, not too much out. So the legs are upright. Take the hands, this part of the hand, thumb and forefinger, not using the hands flatly, just using this part, the thumb and forefinger and placing the, this part of the hands at the fold between the buttocks and the thighs. So at the bottom of the bucket, buttocks, there's a fold of skin. So you take the hands and you push into there. Thumbs are forward, thumbs forward. Roll the shoulder blades slightly together. And then as you inhale, Push the hips forward and raise the head. You may only be able to raise the head slightly. Make sure you keep the neck long. So if that's enough for you, stay here. And as you exhale, bring the body upright again. And without leaning forward, you're keeping the body upright. You're just bringing the head down towards the chest. And then inhale, raise the head, push the hips forward. Keep the spine long. And exhale, body upright chin towards the chest. You may be more flexible and be able to do more intensely, pushing the hips forward, head back, inhale, exhale, body upright, chin towards the chest, as is comfortable for you. So keep to your comfort zone. Neck is long, exhale, chin down. Inhale, neck is long, exhale, chin coming down. Continue at your own pace. This is a dynamic version of camel, Ustrasen. Inhale, hips pushing forward. Exhale, chin towards the chest. Inhale, pushing the hips forward. Exhale, chin towards the chest. Okay, and then stay where you are, relax the feet, relax the arms to the side of the body, shoulders down, feeling the effects, be aware of the sensations of the body. And then slowly come into standing position. Feet shoulder width apart and parallel, arms relaxed to the side of the body. Close the eyes for a few seconds. Be aware of the sensations of your body. Good, and then slowly open your eyes. 
we're going to do another practice that is really good for the lung capacity. As I said and before, that's really important at this time where people have got a lot of problems because of the pandemic with their breathing. Really good for strengthening the lungs. Cross the hands in front and just watch for a second. You're raising the arms forward up above the head and then circling the arms down to the sides. Raising the arms forward and then circling down to the sides. And then with the breath, inhale, raise the arms, exhale, circle the arms down to the sides. Inhale, raise the arms, exhale, circle down to the sides. Continue. Each time the other hand is in front. Inhale, raising, exhale, circle down. And you can enhance the effect if you follow the hands with your gaze looking at the hands as you're raising them and exhale let the head come down chin towards the chest inhale raise the arms look up exhale circle down continue at your own pace inhale raise Exhale, circle down. Inhale, raise. Exhale, circle down. And last time, stretch up, hold for a second, look up, keep stretched, and then exhale. Slowly circle the arms down. Feeling effects, be aware of the sensations of the body. You can close your eyes if you like. And then bring the fingertips up to the shoulders, touching the shoulders with the fingertips and circling the elbows. If you like to coordinate with the breath, circling forward as you exhale, circling back as you inhale. And then change the direction if you're working with the breath again. Inhale, circle back. Exhale, circle forward. Good, and then relax. Okay, we've worked on the upper body. Now we'll do a little more for the hip area. Bring the feet about a meter apart. Not too near. You have to be brave here. Feet about a meter apart. Be confident, be brave. This position is called Tandavasan. Tandav is one of the names for Shiva, him, Shiva the dancer. We also call this cosmic dancer. In English, turn the feet out, both feet toes pointing outwards, hands in front of the chest, bending the knees. Stay there, make sure the spine stays long, keeping the spine long, ok, 
Okay, it's very easy to get a hollow lower back. Try to keep the spine long, try to keep the knees out, keep the neck long, hands together in front. You may not be able to come so far down. If it's comfortable, try to come a bit further down. There's a little bit of balance involved here, so watching a point for balance. If you want to challenge your sense of balance a little more, you can try closing the eyes. That's quite challenging. And then slowly stretch the legs, relax the arms down and sit down. Stretch out the legs, Janusirasan, knee head position, keeping the right leg stretched, bend the left knee and then bring the knee down to the left side. Feet a bit nearer to the hips if you can, to the perineum. The right leg is stretched, the knee and foot are facing up. Don't let the leg roll out. Keep the leg, the foot and the knee upright and keep the leg stretched. We'll do a warm up before we move into this position. For the warm up, hands together. Inhale, stretch the hands up, then hands down and exhale, stretching forward and then back. And inhale, stretching up and then down and exhale stretching forward and then back and inhale stretching up and then down and exhale stretching forward and inhale stretching up and exhale stretching forward And inhale, stretching up, exhale, circle the arms down. Keep the legs stretched, push with both hands against the floor, keeping the legs stretched. Inhale, raise the arms, keep the legs stretched, keep the arms stretched, bend from the hips, don't let the spine get rounded, keep long, keep stretched. Release vertebra, vertebra down. Lastly, the head is coming down. Don't worry if you don't reach the foot. Stay at your comfortable level. Just make sure the lower back is active. Pulling in the lower back. Pulling in the lower back towards the belly. Keep the spine long and keep breathing. And then to release, raise the head and raise the arms. Stretch the hands up, inhale and exhale. Circle the arms down. Support the back, relax the leg, feel the effects. And then raise the left knee, stretch the left leg. Now changing the side. Bend the right knee and bring the knee towards the ground, the foot towards the hips, towards the perineum area, knee and foot facing upwards, hands together for the warm up, inhale, stretch up and then down and exhale, stretching forward. And then hands back, inhale, stretching up, 
and then down. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, stretching up. And exhale, stretching forward. Keep the legs stretched, don't bend the knee, even if you can't come so much forward, then stay at your comfortable, comfortable level, but keep the legs stretched. And then inhale, stretch the arms up, and exhale, circling down. Make sure that the knee and foot are facing upwards, leg is stretched, push against the floor to lengthen the spine. Inhale, circle the arms up, look up slightly, bend from the hips, keep the spine long, keep the arms stretched, release vertebra, vertebra down, lastly the head is coming down. Keep the legs stretched. And then raise the head, inhale, stretching the arms up, and exhale, circle the arms down. Raise the knee, stretch out the leg, both legs are stretched, just give both legs a good stretch now. Stretch, keep the legs stretched a couple of seconds more, and then relax. And then you can lie down on your back in dead body pose, Shavasana. Spine is in a straight line, arms slightly away from the body, palms facing upwards, feet relaxed out. Eyes and mouth gently closed. Relax the facial muscles. Keep the eyes gently closed. We'll finish with a short body scan. Keep lying down, lying down on your back. Body scan is a part of the yogic practice of yoga nidra, yogic sleep. It's also a very important part in mindfulness, MBSR. So we'll do, there are various ways of doing this, we will stick to the yogic sequence of going through the body. First of all, just make sure that you're completely relaxed. Be aware of the sensations of the body. Maybe there are comfortable sensations, pleasant sensations. Maybe there are less comfortable sensations, maybe some pain. Or maybe you're feeling something but you can't really tell whether it's pleasant or unpleasant. going to move the awareness through the body. I'm going to name a body part and then you bring your awareness to that body part.
you're not concentrating. It's a relaxed awareness. It may happen that your mind wanders, that thoughts come up, that you lose your awareness of my voice. That is fine, no problem. As soon as you realize that your mind is wandering, then say thank you to yourself, say thank you to your mind for becoming aware of that. Be grateful for that moment of mindfulness and then gently bring your awareness back to my voice, back to your body. Bring your awareness to the right side of the body, to the right hand. right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm of the right hand, back of the hand, wrist, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side of the waist, right hip, right thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, back of the foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. And then gradually bring your awareness to the left side of the body. Be aware of the left hand. Left hand thumb. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little finger. palm of the left hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, armpit, left side of the waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, lower leg, heel, ankle joint, sole of the left foot, back of the foot, Big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Then be aware of the sensations of your body. Be aware of the whole body, the weight of the body, the weight of the body pushing against the ground.
and bring your awareness inside of the body. Bring the awareness deeper inside. Try not to move. Bring the awareness deeper inside of the body. And then slowly become aware of your surroundings. Sounds around you. Be aware of your position in the room or maybe outside. And then you can slowly start to move the fingers and toes. Roll your head gently left and right. If you like, you can give your body a good stretch. Mm. Then in your own time, roll to one side and sit up. Finish with the universal prayer. Hands in a mudra. Lead us from untruth to truth, from darkness to light, from mortality to immortality. Om, peace, peace, peace. Asatoma Satgamaya. Tamasoma Jyotiya Gamaya, Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Hari Om Tatsat. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that and I wish you all a very pleasant day or evening according to the time of day when you're watching this. Bye-bye.